are American Roots and we're 100% American made uh, manufacturing company in Portland, Maine. We produce uh, currently uh, Polartec fleece outerwear. So when American Roots started, I talked to my mom and she said the first thing we had to do was find a workforce before we did anything. From that, uh, we found the greatest sewers in the world. We were looking for a workforce and um, it just so happened that several new Americans walked through our door. Um, so we were able to gain a workforce and they were able to gain an opportunity to earn a living wage, um, be able to support their families. It's not just about building a workforce, it's about building community. To me, as a small business owner who's making 100% American-made products, Donald Trump is the epitome and definition of hypocrisy. He wants to pay someone in Bangladesh or China a fraction of what that person would make in the country that he claims to love but doesn't believe in. It's all about him. It's not about working people. Go tell the guy that works at the steel plant in Cleveland, you can't make steel in America. You can, Donald. Go tell the woman who makes shirts at Joseph A. Banks in Fall River, you can't make shirts in America. You can, Donald. And go tell Whitney and I and the women at our factory, you can't make jackets in America, because you can. not I haven't heard anything from Donald Trump of substance that is what America is. I'm originally from Iraq. I uh, became citizen. I vote uh, today. This is my first time, first time at all, even in my original country. <laughs> I'm so proud, actually, and so happy, and I feel I do something, but I don't know. It's it's good feeling. The pride that I have for these women, I mean, they're, they're not just our employees, they're our friends and our family. We're about to have a baby, right? Um, we're bringing a child into this world. And I think about the possibility of a female president, which is a huge step forward for us. The things that Trump says and, um, <laughs> and how it just takes us backwards. It's really a step backwards. And that would just be a shame, you know? So I think that this election is more crucial than any other presidential election that I've seen in my lifetime.